Hey everyone, welcome to Real Knowledge Cup Game Plan Series. Today we are going to talk about how you can have a million a uh, million dollar business or like nil or like whatever you're doing, right? Or uh, how you can get started with like knowledge sharing business with very less investment. How you can reach to like 10 lakhs or like one CR extremely fast. And today we have Kamini Ma'am, an award-winning co-host, uh, to ask the questions. Welcome, Ma'am. Thank you, Akshay, for your welcome. Well, audience, we are here back with another series. And this is again going to be an interesting series. Right, Akshay? Of so, course. People are going to love much, it. Yeah, without wasting much time, let's directly come on to the questions. If we Boom, are, let's do it. We, yes, Akshay. We actually, we've been hearing a lot about if this not sharing business that like you just shared at the consulting. What exactly is this knowledge sharing consulting business? And what game plan should I follow, you know, so that I can make millions in this business and with least or almost zero investment? Awesome. Today, I'm going to share you everything about not just what to do and how to do also. And all the listeners also pay close attention and take massive inspired action. That is what will help you to get the results. Let's get started. The number one most important thing is have a niche, right? If you have a niche, it becomes so easy for you to start going out there and produce amazing results. Because what happens is if you're going in four different directions, right? Like if you're doing one inch progress, it takes so much time to literally conquer that and uh, replicate that and get amazing results focus on one thing one audience one offer one message nail it and then go to the next thing i believe all of us have lot of knowledge experience expertise whatever we are doing singing dancing public speaking mindset coach fitness coach whatever it is find out what are you extremely passionate what are your super strengths write down the top three super strengths and what is your weakness and based on your thing whatever you are really good at because it does not matter what industry what you do whatever it is if you are in the top one percent no matter what you are going to make money do you agree or not absolutely that's very true you need to have that one point of it right if you become exceptionally good in no matter what you do you will be able to make huge money also and huge impact because people want to learn from someone who is the best of the best right the number one is pick a niche second thing is access channel like see distribution once after you have identified your niche like your expertise based on your obsession then what you have to do is identify what is the channel which you want to go about and get the clients or like show up to your audience because how you do one thing is like how you do everything you can have the best product in the world but if you're not able to do uh, like able to show to the world what you're really good at nobody is going to know what exactly you're doing and you have to focus on one channel at a time you can either pick youtube like you might be watching the video on youtube or like facebook instagram tiktok clubhouse and whatnot there are like so many different platforms just pick one thing when you get started uh, and nail it identify ins and outs of that platform exactly how it works and keep on optimizing see the game is the grass is not greener on the other side the new like the new strategy the new technology the new tool it's all like nailing one thing and becoming core and becoming the best at that one particular thing and third most important thing is identify your audience what do they want right what is the current situation list down five things what are the current situation and what are the desired situation like five things like example um uh, ma'am can you tell me what is the current situation of your niche well the current situation is like people uh, have a fear of speaking uh, because that's the wow. biggest thing that they have and uh, most important is being consistent about what they're doing mm -hmm. Thought could be also like, you know, um, getting how to create a content, you know, how do I come over? How do I come in front of a video? That's another very big thing that they have. So these are a few of the states, the current state that they come into. Awesome. And what about the desired situation? Now you have already come here. You have the award winning co-host, you're amazing speaker. Like you have spoken in so many different platforms. Now, what do you think is the desired situation of your audience? Yeah, my, I mean, again, the desired state of my audience is to become fluent in the language in whichever they're talking about, whichever they are sharing their content about. That's number one. And most of them want to get fluent in the English speaking. That's one thing. Second thing is, uh, again, the desire is to get more results, to reach to more people. That's another thing that they want. And third would be like, uh, obviously, the money that comes along with it. 
Right, absolutely. Now we have identified the current situation, desired situation. Now what we have to identify is what is the gap over there? Because from a point A to B, and you were once upon a time at the point A, now you have reached to the point B. Now it is our duty and responsibility, it's our moral responsibility to share our knowledge and expertise to the future generations who wants to go there. Now what we have to do is bridging the gap. What do I mean by bridging the gap? It's like in between the two islands. Now, if somebody has to go there, if they had to do something on their own, it's like a nightmare, right? Like it is like going in the night, 12 o'clock in the dark jungle without knowing where the map is. It's extremely difficult. Always identify someone who has already done that. Now, what you have to identify is hurdles and gaps. You have to identify what are the biggest hurdles like the pain points of your particular customer what are their biggest pains like example like you have to identify uh, you have to research like your audience what are the biggest pains they have what have they tried in the past in order to solve that particular problem and what was the biggest painful now they will have like so many reasons like maybe five or ten uh, reasons also why they're not able to reach the goal now figure out what are the three biggest or like four beetles of biggest hurdles they have they don't know how to go about all those things once after like you do enough market research speaking to at least 30 people in that specific niche then you identify okay this is a painful enough problem where people can pay us now see the hurdle like cash flow you have to identify you have to before you sell also before you create your product identify whether this person is capable enough to pay the money so if i like if i'm able to solve the problem see what is the point if you're not like if you're not able to make the money uh, if you solve the problem right you have to identify whether this person is capable enough to solve the problem for the specific niche then once after you identify that pick out a vehicle where you are going to take like the vehicle see now example every uh like if you see like a traditional method there is a car there is a bike there is aeroplane there is a rocket every vehicle uh, has a different dimension and the dynamics changes now you have to pick out a vehicle so that you can help them to get the results fast now you can talk about the features also based on the current situation desired situation you have identified the gap now list down the features how you can add value right like the features can be like a storytelling like we can to help you like for storytelling public speaking how to improve your accent how to improve the body language the like the basic foundation fundamentals principles frameworks you can name all this as features so and always remember you can't sell your, your product based on features why most consultants fail and they're not able to reach six seven figures or like make millions is they always talk about the features see the features come with that but you have to tell the desired situation, right? That's the most important thing. When anybody joins a school or college, like playing, uh, like having a game period is a feature, right? You can't sell uh, like admission ticket by telling we have a swimming pool in our college, please come and join. Only an idiot is going to join, right? Now, the most important thing is you have to uh, list down the features also. That is like a bonus for them. Then you have to identify the next pillar is the pricing. What price and ROI justification? Because the most important thing as a consultant is it's not just about charging people the money. If somebody is paying you $1, $1 like you have to make sure that you give them in return like $10. If anybody pays you one rupee, you have to give them so much value. It's like amazing for them, right? You have to justify them at what point of time they will be able to get the results and why you are charging the money, whatever you are charging, right? How it can add the difference. See, you have to identify what are the point of difference. You have to list down at least four or five things in the marketplace because there are so many consultants, right? In whatever niche you are into, mindset, fitness, yoga, uh, dancing, singing, whatever you are into, list down uh, differentiating factors. Now there are like so many people out there. Try to list down the common uh, things like what people are doing and what you can do, uh, which is like adding more value compared to the what current marketplace at your place or uh, like at your uh, country or like city they are doing by doing that you get a completely edge among others right like having differentiating factors and then you also have to identify 
whom do this usually people tend to buy right like that services try to identify your competitors see that see uh, it's like modeling i'm not telling um, go and copy them or do something modeling what works right and that's the most important thing that's what i learned from my mentors see nobody in this world can come up with the idea and tend to do something great because everything whatever we think is already been done from somebody out there it's all like modeling to get inspired with with one idea and try to add your own sauce flavor to that and that is what can help you to get the results and um, decision maker and also identify who is the decision maker see this is the most important points on whatever pillars i said to you if who has the buying ability the man see what do i mean by man money authority need i'm not like gender bias it applies to male and female also what i'm telling you is once after you have come up with your product consulting like to your knowledge sharing product whatever you are helping them to reach their dream now what if you do that particular person is able to take the action is it is he a student is he a college student is he studying in school is he doing a job is he an entrepreneur because someone who has the money right he can take the decisions quickly fast just like that if he is a student he has to ask his mom dad mom i want to buy this that afterwards the the parents will be like why you want to buy right there is so much of information on google or like youtube for free now they have to justify them they have to convince them it's not just one percent effort right he has to justify he or she and that's how uh, they will be able to buy these are all the pillars the most important what most people think is all you need a niche and an offer something like that but actually if you see these are all the pillars which comes into right and with that like you must have a very good offer right or coming up with a point of difference and come up with a great no brainer offer like if someone pays you 1 1 rupee make sure that you give them like 10 rupees worth of value like 1 dollar 10 dollars worth value and that's the way how you can scale like your consulting business to a next level that was a big long list of things which i need to keep in mind all the pillars when i really need to begin my consulting and reach that so called million i mean that is really wonderful that incredible detailed knowledge that you've given uh, another thing is like you know um, these are what i can start i can big or this is how i should go one by one to reach my a million dollar what Absolutely. foundation should i have so that you know my business is strong enough for my consulting business what is that foundation okay the most important are the foundations like the number one which i said you right now is all like the layer one once after you understand the layer one then you have to identify the layer two the layer two is all about the person uh, whatever you are doing like clearly defined it should be like clearly defined current state and desired state see it should not be like you try to decide this can be that what they want or this thing you have to do based on the market research what exactly people are asking based on that like you have to be able to research and give that whatever uh, results you want to give for the people that's the number one most important thing and the second most important thing is can you access the person how difficult it is to access to the prospect or the client whom you can uh, solve the problem see imagine if the person is from some other country in the world is he like easily accessible or like difficult if you can solve the problem and the third most important question which you have to ask is does this person have the money to invest in himself okay. right so uh, if he is not ready to invest there is no point of solving the problem right and the fourth is uh, are the yen states defined clearly are you able to clearly define it see the number one biggest problem with the service industry and consulting is most people try to over promise and under deliver they tell like they are going to give a mountain for the client and they only give like a small hill and the client is like oh, he banks yeah. you front top bottom like all the directions because he has the right to ask that see especially when you are doing it like you have to do it like carefully right and the fourth most important thing is uh, are the hurdles defined the problems clearly defined and the fifth one is are you solving the most immediate hurdle right like the immediate step and that's the most important thing when you even go to school first standard directly you don't learn like trigonometry right like what you learn in 12th standard or something you learn like step by step immediate problem of that client are you fixing or not and next most important pillar is is your solution the best 
option for the defined person it should be extremely clear if you are solving a problem how to do public speaking is it for students is it for entrepreneurs is it for uh, college is it for like people who are retired it should be very 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 clear and once after you define that customized plan kind of a thing right absolutely because when you uh, pick a niche and when targeted group of people similarly uh, the people in that particular pond also have the same uh, uh, problems it becomes easier for you to reach out to them because you have solved one problem for one person then it becomes easier to solve for another person also these are the most important crucial fundamentals if you do this like you can scale your know, like your business just like this <laughs> oh i mean i really uh, it like it sounds like you know ki consulting is something where you just go and talk share something but actually you really need to have a real strong foundation that's there and once you have these pillars very strongly grounded only then i can build like you said the layer 1 layer 2 that is coming up it's not so uh, simple it like it sounds well right. so uh, uh, my next question is related to a similar thing like how does one like see having experience and um, knowledge both together definitely makes me identify as an expert right but how do i build an authority is there any kind of uh, you know figure that you need to have that okay you should have 10 years of experience 20 years of experience you should have yeah. you know this, this this qualification that's what is how do i build yeah. my authority see the most important thing as a consultant is you don't need a phd degree or like you don't need a mba degree to prove yourself like you know something right see those were the days like traditional in fact i won't go like super detail into all those things if you are a doctor engineer or something you need like a certificate and a degree all those things but if you are into knowledge sharing consulting business all you need is like expertise and proof of concept you have figured out on your own and you have already helped like at least three people five people to go from current situation to desired situation and you have the plan you have already reached that you also have a proof of small group of people who have got the results now it's all like you can go to the masses and help more people right it's all about building the authority on your brand right and that is what you will be able to do now if you see like western countries like us uk or any tier one countries versus india see people can pay you like lot of money 10 times more money than what uh, you you can charge over here but the problem over there also is it's not like a problem it's like you have to be 100% sure about the solution also if you don't give the solution right it they're not like us like in, in india right they are like they last to left and right and they are very professional you have to keep that in mind the results should be done whatever you speak make sure that you do and stick to your point whatever you are telling and if you do that no matter no any day you are going to win you can become the best consultant in whatever field you are doing results results talk than anything else yeah so at the end it does not matter about uh, how many years of experience it is the results that you have given of the work that you with the solution that you have given to your people right. it's all like you just important. have to take them to the desired state yeah you have Because to know little bit more than what the client knows you need not know everything Yeah, because I'm sure many of the younger generation people they have you know like it's like ma'am we are not uh, we just come from college or, but then that does not matter even if you are in college or you're still doing something if you have given results to somebody you've given a solution to somebody that's more important so right. it's basically giving solution to your problem another thing is that uh, you know this is uh, which a lot of people do ask you know and they have uh, this can feel like. like you rightly said on youtube we have so much of knowledge our parents say you have it on internet so is it really necessary that i need to have a mentor who can show me the right path who is into uh, the consulting niche yeah see the most important that's a very great question see uh, if you went for a driving school like you must have gone to ride like learn like bicycle like the bike or the car or whatever it is the purpose of driving school is like to teach you how to drive effectively without uh, doing lot of mistakes right and see you take a course you practice what the instructor like the teacher tells you in a few lessons and you are ready to drive alone right now see the process is very clear they tell you like come to the driving school you see how i am driving uh, uh, i drive you see then you drive i am going to see like the teacher or the master is going to do the same it applies over here also in the consulting business you see someone who has already first done it 
you learn from them you implement in your own thing and then share it with others right for example if you want to get more clients for your services and start your consulting business with whatever knowledge you have it is the skills right what it's just like driving once you have learned that skill you are set for the life right only one time you have to learn driving you need not go to the school again and again just one time you learn and it's set for life and it is important to ask yourself have you learned the necessary skills to get the clients now you have understood in this video what is consulting business the most important things everything like a high level view like a 40000 feet view and you have known exactly how to do also but still there will be like so many small 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 hurdles right which you can face obviously you are going to face it's like when you know how to drive Absolutely. when you are going uh, there is a speed breaker you try to reduce the speed you will off the bike <laughs> like you have to on it you have to leave the clutch the brake you have to apply properly accelerator slowly right you can't go in fifth gear and suddenly you can put like reverse gear what's going to happen the gear box is going to go off very soon and <laughs> your car will also be in trouble you have to identify it's important to ask yourself have you learned the necessary skills you have all the information about how the consulting works how to get the clients how to close the deal how to deliver then you are good to go if you don't have that all the skills then what i recommend is figure out a mentor coach trainer who has already done that and learn from them and that is what will help you to get massive results in whatever you are doing right and these are the things what you have to do yeah these are the things what you have to do now let me know how was it it was amazing and in fact again every session that we have every talk that we have i, I do get some kind of eye openers because uh, number one today what was my because what like was what i learned over here is like hmm. yeah it was like number one is you uh, need to be someone who is going to give results it doesn't matter hmm. how old you are it doesn't matter what kind of qualification you have once i identify my niche i know my expertise i can give a solution to somebody that is what is more important in running a consultant business so that's very important another thing is the foundations which you spoke about like you know said uh, the foundations which i need to have that is very important and in the foundation uh, especially in the plan that you told the layer 2 it for talking about you know uh, the game plan you're sharing is the features which i need to understand you know which is there i need to know that am i justifying the uh, you know value that i'm taking the revenue that i'm taking from them so that price which i'm quoting that should be justified and i need to understand the difference so these are the few things which really uh, i need to keep in mind which maybe initially i did not keep much into mind but now i'll will be focused into it so amazing that that was really wonderful and i'm sure my audience awesome. today our audience today also had a wonderful takeaway from this right and do let me know guys like what was your biggest takeaways in the comments over here and do ask us whatever questions you have i'll i'll personally come over there and answer whatever questions you have and go and implement now you have all the information now what next we have to do that's the next thing that you have to do is like share and subscribe give comments over there and share it with your friends and other people who are just coming into this kind of business or they're still thinking about you know joining or should i do it or should i not do it so do share it with them because it will really add value to you if it has added value to them so Absolutely. amazing and don't awesome. forget to download the game plan in the description okay so take action okay. thank you so much everyone for being thank so you, patient thank you thank you so much okay. for this okay.